Oh, welcome, welcome back, everyone. It's Stray Fay here with another episode of Harvest Moon DS Cute. All right, as promised off screen, I I friended everyone in this room, so we got we got merged to 255 friendship. I'm, sometimes people here give me things, or do you just steal them, Murray? Haven't got anything yet today. You were pretty much a thief in a wonderful life, so I don't know. We'll never be able to afford a place like this on Dad's salary. Not in a lifetime. <laughs> hey, come on. Your dad works hard to give you a good life. I have to marry someone rich. Isn't there anyone rich around here? Uh, well... <laughs> Relatively. I'd love to live in a mansion like this. This house looks like one that would appear in a fairy tale. Oh, well, Ellie does. <laughs> oh, you've come to visit. I'm so happy. Lon, you're like a big sister to me. And yeah, of course, Ramon is already just here. Milan, welcome! This piano's been passed down for generations. My grandma often played it. Was your grandma named Lumina? Alright, kitty. And finally, we also have a friend of Sebastian to 255 friendship. And I believe if we enter his room, we'll probably get a cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Milan, what can I do for you? Uh, for this. Are you really hungry right now? Yes, all that, all that cat spamming in people's faces gets me hungry. It appears so. If leftovers are okay, I can make you something? Question mark? Sure! Alright, please wait. I'll make it right away. Alright, so this cutscene is... Uh... Cooking Pride. Finished! <laughs> so yeah, it's in Romana's kitchen. It can't be a Saturday, but it can happen at like any hour. Just not Saturday. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I just figured it would be at an hour where Sebastian was actually in the kitchen, not wandering around outside, and Sebastian has to be above 200 friendship points. And for some reason, the Game Boy Advance connection has to be, like, you have to have connected with that for this to work. I'm not sure why. Because I think it's just Sebastian involved in this cutscene. Well, I don't know if you like it, but please try and eat it. It's like some fried rice. Nom nom nom. D-O-O-D! Good! Seems that you like it. Actually, this isn't just any fried rice. This dish is called the Takaran Pepe Special. What? I don't know if it's like some reference to Charchan or, or Takaran is like an actual thing. Takaran sounds like a Japanese word, well like Pepe sounds... Sounds like a different language. Is it a blend? Takaran Pepe was a legendary cook. This fried rice dish was one of the things that he taught to my ancestors how to make. Takaran Pepe? <laughs> Must Google. <laughs> it's gonna just be like... <laughs> it's like nothing really pops up on... <laughs> On a, on a Google, but I guess it's uh, I don't know. Shows up in like the Harvest Moon lore a few times, I guess. Since then, it has been known as the Takaran Pepe Special. It has been passed down in my family, Your family of butlers. Why did I make you something so important? <laughs> I wonder why. Oh, you don't have to worry about it. Oh, I can't tell you the recipe. What? What do you mean you can't tell me the recipe? I thought I enchanted you with my cat enough times that you would tell me anything. Even if I told you, no one but me knows the ingredient portion, so you can't do it. I mean, you can teach people. I think you're just lazy. <laughs> That's just being lazy, Sebastian. I'm glad you are satisfied. I must know what it is. What ingredients are being used? Alright, well, it's that scene. 
I don't know if there's any more cutscenes. If I like start running in and out of the house. Cooking is a complex art, so I must choose my ingredients wisely. I guess Jeeves. If I could get another cutscene by running in and out of this lobby. Hey Kitty, stay in that side for a little bit. <laughs> Alright. This is probably Kate's life advice. Happens in Romana's match in lobby, and Kate and Lumina have to be at 200 plus friendship points. Lumina! What is it, Kate? I want to be pretty like you, Lumina. What do I have to do to look like you? Hmm. There's a lot of people that are prettier than me. Why don't you try asking one of them? I mean, it's kind of a... It's kind of a small valley, Lumina. And I think you're the probably the one person with access to the most, like beauty products, to be honest. Like who? Hmm, how about Muffy? She uses too much makeup. Uh, well then, what about Nami? I'm just gonna, just gonna go through all the bachelorettes. Unfriendly. <laughs> Unfriendliness doesn't make you beautiful, I guess. Hmm, and Flora? I hate glasses! <laughs> okay, Kate. <laughs> I, th I, th th I think this is Kate's preference. She just wants to be a little preppy, rich-looking girl. And Celia, she's very pretty. She smells like fertilizer. <laughs> oh, shots fired. Th this is getting awkward. And Milan? She's really pretty and always active. Why do, oh no. My ego. What are you gonna do with Kate? She's a hick. She reeks of fertilizer and her clothes suck. What? I have the the best outfit colors. <laughs> Literally just have one outfit is change the color palettes. <laughs> what do you mean fertilizer? I don't I don't do crops. You see? They smell like death, probably. You're the only one I can ask, Lumina. How can I be pretty? To be fair, I don't have a bathroom built in in, in our current house. Uh, um, er. <laughs> I'm mad. K Kate, b behind you. Huh? Bear, watch out. I have. <laughs> I have a murder sickle equipped. And I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> Hang on, let me just make sure my, my gain isn't too loud. Oh, it's, uh, uh-oh. Milan. Were you listening? L let me guess. You're angry? <laughs> you know, like, in this context, considering I've been, like, poisoning villagers and, like, killing animals, Milan isn't someone that you really want to piss off, is she? Let me guess, you're really angry. What should I do, Lumina? You should apologize. I'm sorry, I really didn't mean it. Will you forgive me? Okay. <laughs> I'll spare you this time. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Milan. You're the best. I'm not gonna die today. <laughs> All right, that was. Whoa, whoa, jeez! Like, what the heck? The screen's like panning out like crazy. I'll definitely be beautiful. Milan, you scared me. <laughs> I am an ominous figure. Okay, that was that cutscene. <laughs> I wonder if we'll get another one. So that was Kate's life advice, I'm guessing. Anything else? No. I think there's some others that happen in Lumina's room and then Romana's bedroom, but of course... She's not in her bedroom right now. But yeah, so that's kinda... <laughs> those are some cute events. We'll just be activating those, like, more and more. 
As time progresses and we get more friends, it's we're gonna be activating just like a ton of events, like all the time. All right. Well, it's a snowy day, so I can't really, can't really uh meet Sky today. I'm very pleased. I didn't expect to get something so nice. Hello there, Milan. Thank you for hard work. Might as well just befriend. Our friend Thomas Holly's here. Alright, so I guess I'll just pass out. So the agenda for this episode is a lot of the same. I'm gonna keep trying to pass out until I reach that 100 count. Um, we do have Winter Thanksgiving on the 14th, so we'll pass out chocolate. We do have- we should have chocolate, right? Yeah, we do have plenty- we have plenty of chocolate for the boys that we can have access to. Hey, hang in there. I'll carry you home now. And then, of course, at the very end of the episode, we'll make some more friends. We'll pick a house and just befriend everyone that's in there. It's Thursday. Today is a gray day. Uh, da -da. I, he likes chocolate, right? I have to, like, remember who likes what. Ooh, horsey. I don't know why I'm touching all you guys. I just... Whoop. Hello, Gray. Let me just double check. It, it just feels like very odd that Gray likes chocolate. Uh, but yeah, he does like chocolate. <laughs> there you go. Probably also activate his purple heart event if I want to. Or I could wait. I mean, there's no harm waiting. Ooh, his purple heart event set like night, 7:20 p.m. It also has to be a sunny day, so I guess uh, that's a no go. <laughs> Grandpa isn't around, so I can take it easy. It's too noisy at home. This is really paradise. Really, you live in like another deadbeat town. <laughs> What's so great about this place? Uh, is there any else? What else I want of a friend? Get kind of in the groove of the friend and peeps. Griffin. Still haven't activated your black heart event, but no worries. Oh, this is great. It's my favorite. Thanks a bunch. What time does your black heart event activate? 12 p.m. ish? The 3 p.m. ish? And my cat's mad. <laughs> Come on, cat. I, like, hardly get a chance to record, and I'm not gonna let you ruin it. Alright, time to pass out again. Nothing else I need to do. I... Friend of Grey. That's my priority. Um, I should probably make some curry. Okay, no, I don't- I don't think I even need curry tomorrow. I'll just make it anyway. <laughs> Cause, yeah, tomorrow... I should be able to give chocolate to Gr- or not Grey. Cliff tomorrow. No, wait. Cliff's on Saturday. Dang it. <laughs> Tomorrow's Anne. <laughs> Anne, not Cliff. Oops, I meant to click up, not back. I'll just... Let's just make it for the sake of making it. Curry rice is done. Compared to the last time, no change. Also no change. The recipe. Angie kitty. Okay, doke. Time to pass out. All these snowy days make it so easy to just pass out. Hey, hang in there. I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. Right, the 14th. Hopefully, it's not like a thing where everyone's door is locked. Now you just have to wait for people to come outside. And, okay, you're still working on that. It'll probably, probably be done soon, actually. Hey, Milan, the oven that you ordered was just delivered. Now you'll be able to make food. Should be coming handy. You should have it now. Yay, I can I can make baked corn for, for Gray. <laughs> Alright, no other visitors. Okay, where the heck do I start? I'm assuming... I can... Okay, everything is unlocked at, at least. 
And let's see the reactions I get. Oh, it's winter thanks fest. And I didn't even give you anything, sorry. Yeah, the boys gave me anything for spring. A little bit early. I mean, I think it's possible. But yeah, I think you just need to get them to a purple heart. Some boys are easier to woo than others. I wonder, did do the girls have like a funny reaction to this? <laughs> I really like this, thank you very much. Really tough living in a small tent. Well, I just know Flora likes chocolate, so. What's your favorite gift? So yeah, you get a thousand, thousand whopping love points. Each time you give it to one of the bachelors. Unfortunately, none of the Mineral Town bachelors are here. It's kind of interesting that, though, um, back in the Japanese copies of the game, you would, um, or like the. Well, I forget to like fix this actually. Let me fix my screen. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Is it for me on Marlin point? No zero. I'm sorry I didn't get you anything this year. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, in the Japanese copies of the game, um, when it's time for, like, the bachelors or bachelorettes to, like, give you cookies or chocolate, um, the Mineral Town people would actually send you stuff via the mail system. Like, the, the regular bachelors and bachelorettes show up at your door, but, like, the Mineral Town people would send stuff via mail, but that doesn't work. The mail system doesn't work in, uh, in the North American version of the game, so, rip. There's nothing in my room. I like to keep things simple. Very Spartan, just some plants. I kind of... I kind of feel like keeping things simple as well. Like, I have all this stuff, like, in my room, and it just means I have to dust it. <laughs> like, sometimes I wish I could, like, just Spartanize my room. I, I wonder, can I give chocolate to any man? Hmm, what can I say? <laughs> he does not like it. <laughs> Alright, so I, I'm, it looks like I'm restricted to just, uh... The bachelors doesn't look like they designed any any re unique responses for the other people. Okay, well, let's try to remember who's here. Is it okay, to give me this Come again. I didn't do it this year. I'll prepare for next year. All right, Just, everyone's gonna be giving me obligatory cookies in the spring, I guess. Rock, I really don't want to give you anything, but I guess I will. <laughs> I forget that I can I can ring that thing. I thought you'd give it to me, Milan. Thanks, look forward to spring. Are you gonna make your mom bake cookies for me? Milan, the forget <laughs> the forget me up valley is so peaceful. I don't think there are many places where nothing bad happens like here. Alright, I think the last boy is Gustafa. I really wish we had like a Mineral Town Bachelor that we could have given chocolates to. Alright, better than nothing, I guess. 3,000 points. Oh, the Winter Thanks Fest. Thank you. But I haven't given anything to you this spring, Milan. I'll remember next year. It's a cool house, isn't it? A man named Gustafa built it. <laughs> the same name as me. He's my ancestor. He liked to travel and lived his days in a tent. He just took over. Took over the tent. I, like, I feel like A Wonderful Life Gus have had a very colorful, colorful past. I like to think he was, like, immortal. <laughs> uh, who else can I bother? Daryl! He's not gonna like this, but I wanna see. I just wanna see if someone has a different response. I'll take it. Alright. I guess none of the other boys have funny reactions. Alrighty, well that's five boys. <laughs> I guess I'll I'll I can still wait for Sky and it's a sunny day, so I'm gonna see if he comes by at ten. 
But yeah, Gustafa had like such a colorful past in A Wonderful Life. Um, and I like to think he was an immortal because <laughs> he's. I think if you connected uh, to Friends of Mineral Town in A Wonderful Life, you got like some little extra dialogue bits. And it would say how he used to be a bard for like some distant empire. <laughs> I just like to think Gustafo is just some weird immortal leprechaun hippie thing that has played music since ancient times. Let me just see. I need to hire out. I can, I can hire you guys up tomorrow. Alright, dip in till 10. I don't think there's anything I can order, so I'm just waiting for Sky. But um, hopefully I can persevere. I'm a little bit tired after today, but I had a chance to record, so I took it. <laughs> I'll have to have a hopefully a good sleep tomorrow, and hopefully I get to the day <laughs> in a good mood. Kind of wish I could leave work early tomorrow, but don't think I'm gonna be able to. Even though I'm usually able to on the weekends because it's slow. <laughs> I'm guessing because my manager has to cover for someone again. She's gonna be in a bad mood. She's not gonna let anyone leave, <laughs> even if there's literally nothing to do. Like I cleaned everything. Like all the animals are taken care of. Do. Forgot what time I went in, so I'll just stay until 11:30, and then I'll dip out. Also, hope the recording's okay, because my graphics drivers had an update, and <laughs> I'm always scared when anything has to update, because it might, like, corrupt any video encoding that I might do. But so far, it's working. It's still working. Do, do, do. Bum, 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 bum. I also feel like I've almost finished the RPG that I'm that I'm playing right now. I'm just playing Grandio ones. Like, I think I'm almost done. <laughs> feels feels like it's at the the climax climax of everything. I'm very happy to finally finish a game. Very hard for me to finish a game. Usually I start it and then I forget what I was doing and then like if I go back to it I'm like, uh, I guess I'll do a new game. Forget what I was doing. <laughs> You'll play Grandia 2. I like it's funny comparing the, the art of Grandia 1 and Grandia 2. <laughs> it's just like the Grandia 1 art, it's like side by side, like on the startup logo. <laughs> Grandia 1 just shows like kind of like this shitty looking kid. <laughs> it's so like old looking, and then they have like Grandia 2, and like everyone's so like be shoujo, be shonen fied. Like, oh god, what happened? <laughs> like, the one on the left looks like Digimon 1, and the one on the right looks like I don't know what to compare it to. <laughs> Any current Bishoujo anime that's out there. Also, a Bishoujo anime. What was it called? It's great though, it's a. Uh... It's probably on a different page, so much anime coming out every day. Fantasy Bishoujo. <laughs> Fantasy Bishoujo Jun. Jun. Oh god, the words. Jinuko Ojisanto. So you just like isekai into like a pretty girl. But his friend went with them. They're like two 30 year old men, but only one of them got like isekai as like a pretty girl. And like, one of her features is that she can charm like any man. And like, his friend is just trying to keep it together, trying not to fall in love with his best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like the comedy, it's just like you don't really expect like their outrageous responses. <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty that one's pretty good. 
probably gonna be one that one of them I remember this season. Yeah, not a lot of anime I'm gonna remember this season. Dum dee dum. Gotta get to more of my backlog of my other games. <laughs> Maybe uh, playing playing one RPG will give me a craving for more. I don't know which one to play next. <laughs> I was like poking around my my visual novels too. Like, some of them are so bad, I'm like, I would not be able to, like, voice act this unless it was, like, as a joke. A lot of it's just, like, trash, but occasionally I find that little, little gold nugget and I'm like... Where I'm, like, amazed at the story. I usually base how good it's gonna be all off the prologue if I don't have, like, a lot of time to check every single... Plot path. <sighs> All right, so the sky is almost here. And then I can make my poor farmer pass out. I should also play some of my physical games. I'm, I just been going through my digital library at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of I like I ordered a lot of games over the holidays that were like super cheap. And, like, I, I notice a lot of them aren't, like, shipping out. And a lot of them are canceling, so I, I think they, like, made them really low price and, like, didn't realize that their stock was gonna not be able to keep up with that, so... <laughs> a lot of the games that I thought I was gonna get, I'm not gonna get. <laughs> They're, like, all canceling, like, alright. Some of them I got for, like, a steal, I was, like, oh, 15 bucks for, like, this game. <laughs> I'm happy to get something from you, Milan. Thank you. Hmm, if I take this road, mumble mumble. I also forgot to give you something today. My dear Gottish. I, I don't know. Actually, I might have given you something. I just might have forgotten. Oh, it's you, Milan, so you came. I'll accept it, thank you. So, okay, so we must have given her 10 gifts by now. Since you've come to see me all these times, I have a reward for you. There's someone that you like, Milan? Yes. Oh, who is it then? Tell me who you like. Uh, Marlon Griffin, Gustavo, Rock Carter, you can say other. Rick, Kai, Cliff, Gray, Dr. Trent. Is there an other? This is, these are just Mineral Town boys. No, I was hoping Sky would be on here. Hmm. Hmm. Who needs the most help? <laughs> Alright, that kinda sucks that, like, this guy isn't on this list. Uh, huh. I feel like Grey's in the lead over everyone. I feel like Kai, because he's here, like, all of summer, I could probably get him up really high, like, in one summer, just spamming pineapples every day in his face. Rick, I feel like, is easy because he has a small boiled egg as a gift. Um, Dr. Trent, I just need to get some milk and then he'd be easy as well. I feel like Cliff is probably the hardest, actually, to woo, because his favorite grift is finest curry, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, no. Not gonna do that. No, sorry. Alright, well, if I have to choose, I'm gonna choose Cliff. Ah, so it's Cliff, is it? I'll raise Cliff's affection towards you a bit. Please wait a moment. Ah, uh, yes. Artificially raising love through through magic. Alright, it's done. Come back again anytime. Alright, so she'll only do this for us once, but... I'm glad for the bonus. And pass out. <laughs> See Cliff tomorrow. Hmm. And yeah, I think every... Every ten times after this that we give her a gift... Um, she'll play a little mini game with this, which is, I think, the dreaded uh, Harvest Goddess High Low mini game, which I lose all the time. But the prizes are different. Um, you have to just make sure that you don't have a tool slot for it. And then, um, if you do the High Low mini game, uh, if you're lucky and get a high number, 
of correct answers, and I think you get like a bag of seeds at like a, like a high level, depending on how many you got right. Alrighty. It's Saturday, and it's a snowy day. Would you look at that? I guess I'm just gonna talk to Cliff and go to bed. You know me well, I love this. This room reminds me of the inn at Mineral Town. Mineral Town is nice inn too, you should go there sometimes. Alright, what can I give another boy? Bachelors. I am going to the inn a lot. Maybe I should be giving Rock something. It's Matsutake, which I have, but I don't really want to sacrifice for you. Of all people. French fries, butter. Just give him a stick of butter. Mmm. You're very picky. Consider you who you are, you are very picky. Use yogurt necklace, brooch, perfume. Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you anything, Rock. I'm gonna wait. I'll talk to you, though. No, you're not, Rock. You're Nami. Forget which room you're in. Hold on, forget me, a valley so peaceful. You're at rock bottom as well. Alright. I am going to go- Please, I need the teleport stone. Send me home. Is there no other people? I feel like gods are taking forever to finish this job. Alright. I feel like I should be doing other stuff with my day, but... Goodbye, cruel world. Lit. Hey, hang in there. I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. It's Sunday. Which means... My basement's finally done. Hey, the basement is finished. Another fine job, as always. See ya. Ah, uh, yes. If you don't have this, then in the basement's just another room. Here's a spot. There's a spot in the basement room for a sunstone. Try using this one. Alright, you got me a fall one. I have spring, summer, and fall. Sunstones are found in the mine, so if you really want one, try looking one for one yourself. See you later. Yeah, you gave me all useful ones. <laughs> not, not the winter one. The useless winter one. Okie doke. Ricky boy. Another spa boiled egg for you. I love eggs, especially spa boiled eggs. Thanks! Guy shows up in the summer, doesn't he? Comes to Mineral Town, too. <laughs> Alright, time to friend your sister with lots of chocolate. How much chocolate do I want to give your sister? I love this. Thank you, Milan. Always nice to get that plus nine at the beginning, but then after that, slow going. gonna give you whatever I separated out and then I'm going to bread. <laughs> Let's make this a quick winter. That's fine. Ignoring all the other boys, it's fine. <laughs> Mineral Town boys are the priority because they only come by once a week. The other boys, I could blast. Through their affection. Plus, I want to get this blasted tool out of my hand. Actually, should I wait? Uh, is there anything else I should build? Uh, or demolish? I have almost everything. I could build one more barn. I guess I'll, I'll get gods. <laughs> I'll get gods to, to build me. That last barn, I'll have it ready. Gonna just plant some grass in the spring and then just get tons of sheep and cows so I can rub them. <laughs> rub them and brush them and shear them and milk them for the 
stupid harvest sprites that I need. I wonder how I'm doing with the uh, with the hot spring counter. <laughs> I haven't been keeping count, but it's just gonna be a pleasant surprise when it pops out. And then I have to do it again in the other hot spring. I hope getting these harvest sprites uh don't mess up me getting the other violet uh, just the other purple sprites. Because I did notice in the boy version when there's too many harvest sprites on the screen, the game goes kind of wonky. <laughs> the game freezes. As I found out when I'm trying to hire out a full team of orange harvest sprites. I'm hoping... I'm hoping because they're sedentary, the purple team, it's not going to be a problem. Okay, it's almost 11. I actually should go up here. I should give Miss Harvest Goddess a gift because I need to give you 490 more gifts. I better get on that. <laughs> Let's see, Milan, so he came. I'll accept it. Thank you. By the way, I really like that offering you gave me. Well, toodles. Hmm, you want to see my abacus? I'm afraid that's not happening. I can't let you touch my valuable business tool. I don't want to touch your abacus, guts. Not being a weirdo. Alright. Fish there. Seven days. I should, probably should have hired out the orange team, but oh well. I can do them at the end. <laughs> I mean, there's probably like tons of just tons of branches and rocks that they could deal with. Well, <laughs> that's a problem for later me. Uh, let's see. I don't think May has any more outfits for me. Nope. Oh, I can talk to him. I can talk to this person though. I want to talk to you. Yo, you want to talk, right? Do you think of something? Mineral Town? Why do you hear such things? Hmm, all I can say is that, that, that it's a nice place. People of Mineral Town are all real down to earth. That makes it a real charming place. Basically, it's great. That's good enough, right? This is embarrassing. See ya. Aw. <laughs> Um, okay, we're just having a little random conversation with this store clerk without, without any portrait. Uh, gots. Legendary gots. You want it? We got it. What can I do for you? In the other animal shed. Uh, material stone. I want you to provide the materials. I hopefully have enough. Yeah, okay. Let's probably build a silo as well. I wish I could make it gold. <laughs> Alright, we have spare sunstones if we need them. Alright, time to pass out. What's tomorrow? Monday? Monday's a merry day. I would usually. S I want to spam the cat in Mary's face. Because Mary has a lot of interesting cutscenes that I, that I like. But I'm pretty much just playing pass out roulette at this point. Just whatever day, whatever day lands at the um, the hour, that's that will determine who I'm befriending. Another snowy day. Okay. Hey, you want an animal shed, right? I'm here to build it. Where do you want it made? An abyss. All right, make, make it here. All right? Yeah. Clear out the space first. Is that okay? Yes, build it here. Probably take around three days for me to finish it. You can rely on me. Yay, look at <laughs> so many. I have a nice I mean I have a nice little area here for like chickens. 
I have like max space for barns just all the way across. I like how this looks. Alright, any Peopoli I need to visit? Mary is meh. <laughs> We can let's uh just give give wine to to you. Kinda bad that I'm not like doing this every day, because it's like if I ignore them for a little bit, then I start losing affection. Alright, here's here we go. We got a we got a heart event. What is this? What does this happen? Obviously Marlin. I'm surprised I haven't activated this on accident. This happens from 6 to 8 a.m. or 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. In Vess's house, obviously. Hey. What's up? Sorry, but Celia's upstairs sleeping. Vess is looking after Celia right now. If you want to meet with Vester or Celia, please come another time. Or did you come for me? Want to talk or I'll family? <laughs> Okay, I'm leaving. No, you want to talk? I I don't really have anything to talk to you about. What do you like or what do you think of Celia? Let's not mention our rival um, to his affection. Let's ask uh, what food did, does he like. <laughs> like I'm nervous for a second. What, what food do you like? What? Why do you ask that? I, I don't know. Well, I'll talk. Well, whatever. Yeah. My favorite food? I I never have a good answer for that. Mm, my favorite food is surprise. Oh Milan, you're here. You and Marlin together? Well that's unexpected. What were you talking about? <laughs> this conversation is over. Nothing really, it's no big deal. More importantly, how is Celia feeling? Well, it's no big deal. She's just worn out. I think she'll wake up soon. Oh, I see. I hope so. That's it. Let's talk again later. All right. Don't worry. I'll be. I'll be better soon. No. Not. Not you. We're talking about Celia here. I think that's like a typo. I think that was the correct answer. I feel like. I feel like. Maybe mentioning Celia would have like elicited a different response, but like Yeah, I feel like that one that one was the correct answer asking about food. Let's talk again later Like why would you talk about like a different girl <laughs> while you're trying to woo this one man? Marlin have some wine. Hey, is it for me? My thanks are in order. Raising any crops on your ranch, Milan? Come on in, make yourself comfortable. At least I got his heart event out of the way. Here, Griffin. Okay, these three men are a little bit easy, because they all like wine. Oh, this is great. This is my favorite. Thanks a bunch. Or has been here forever, for generations. I think it's Rock and Gustafa that are a little bit iffy. Gustafa, let's see. What does Gustafa like that I can just pull out of my butt? And he likes hot milk. Maybe I'll wait till I get the cows before I start wooing him. Alright, time to die. <laughs> Say goodbye to this cruel world. Hey, hang in there. I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. Are we almost at the hundred? No hundy? No hundies. Fine. Just lush up these boys. Stay Tuesday. It is a Karen day. I don't need to worry about Karen. Up, 
flush up you. Flush up you. I think we still need to get Griffin and Rock's Blackheart event. Shirt. Like how we, we've already looped around to Wednesday. Here, I'll change to, to my black shirt. I like I like the black shirt. <laughs> okay. Another snowy day. I can't meet Sky. another lame episode. <laughs> this is another lame episode of me doing this. Mm. <laughs> exhausted time to call it a day. Can't wait for me to just be able to sleep normally like a normal person. Like I haven't gotten this this thing either up here. I just noticed like oh it's winter but it's fine. We can uh you show both responses for this event. Next festival, Starry Night. There's no way we're gonna be able to do Starry Night this year. Next year, though. I don't know if I should do a bonus episode where I go out with all the boys, or just... I mean, there's probably something... on YouTube... that has... that has, uh, the Starry Night festivals. Like, at least, like, that. <laughs> like, those cutscenes should be on YouTube. I know there, there, there's a lot missing for this game, though, in particular, so I will try to do some, like, neat bonus episodes. This will really help me, ma help me out. Thank you. Alright, it's time to get drunk. This inn serves great meals. Muy delicioso. I'm probably gonna get you to purple before I get you anything else. Just pick all these herbs. Any white herbs? I haven't been able to give Sky anything <laughs> since, uh, we gave him that chocolate because it's just been snowing. Thank you for coming. You're in a pink outfit. We're in a blue outfit. <laughs> that just looks like your traditional outfit. Neat if they made a remake of A Wonderful Life where people actually change their outfits. <laughs> they kind of did that in the special edition, but it was like only your farmer, the color palette would change each season. I can't use that inside. Where? Only the color palette would change, and I think the bachelorettes also change their outfits. Uh, when you got married, I forgot if it's like based on whether you have a boy or a girl child, they'll they'll change it out their outfit. Like Muffy will have a more conservative dress if she has a daughter versus like a son. Like I don't know what the logic is for the other two though. Like they just change their dress color. <laughs> Okay. Look, today is Thursday. Yay, guts! The animal shed is finished. Another great job as always. See ya! Alright, so I might wait on doing any more GOTS projects. I also forgot that today is a. <laughs> I forgot to, to do this yesterday. That's right, it's exciting, it's surprising, it's exciting, it's catalog living, it's time for TV shopping. Today's item is the steamer. Your food will be perfect. The steamer can be yours for only 2,000 gold. Call now if you want this. TV shopping pays the shipping cost. Why wow, they didn't have any other descriptors for the steamer. It's like, yes. It's like, yes, steamer. Buy it. Like, okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try to buy it. Alright. Gray, you want some chocolate? Thanks. This is my favorite. Eh, Grandpa's around so I can take it easy. 
no more judgments. No more cruel words. All the boys drunk. Oh. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Marlon is wearing some black pants today. A gray shirt. My thanks. Salutations. Gonna get Griffin to a purple heart before I even see his black heart event. I feel like I'm going through days so quickly that, like, everyone's friendship is probably hemorrhaging right now. And let me see if I can get another cutscene at Romana's. Hello, dear. It's Thursday. I don't think I'll get a Mineral Town cutscene today. Well, it's still pretty high. It must be- I think it's randomized, I feel like, ignore someone for a certain amount of days. Oh wait, I forgot. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Let me I gotta wait till 10. <laughs> I gotta do TV shopping. Getting a little bit too eager to pass out. Also, very eager to sleep soon as well. I can at least go to the bath. Twice. Bum, bum, bum. I should probably give a gift to the Harvest Goddess as well. Because my attention is all split. I'm like... <laughs> like... I'm not really focusing down, like, one character yet. Even though I should be... I should be more diligent in giving the Harvest Goddess a gift every day, because 500 is a lot. But once again, it's a thing I can do by just, like, sleeping and tossing a gift and then sleeping again. Blah, blah, blah. So you came, I'll accept it. Thank you. By the way, I really like this offering you gave me. Well, toodles, blah blah. Bye bye. Uh, now I think about it. Maybe I should actually order another building from Gots. Just one more building. I'll just order the silo because I I might I might have the need to store grass in the spring. Might as well build it now. Let's take another dip in the hot springs and then we'll we'll dip out and. Order what we need and then pass out. Let's see what other things I've been doing. Still watching Skip Beat. I got <laughs> I got to like one of my favorite scenes in the anime where she uh, does a little gig where she dresses up as like an angel and then her most hated person ever is like playing as the devil. <laughs> and it's just funny, it's like the choke out scenes. <laughs> <laughs> or she wants to ex enact her revenge by like literally choking him out instead of like, oh wait, I'm I'm supposed to enact my revenge by like actually being a professional person and like being a professional actor, not doing this. Yeah, I think it was, like I was really done up in the anime, so I really should. I really should like get like an online copy of Skip Beat and just read that manga, because I don't think they're ever gonna <laughs> re- uh, reboot it. Alright, thanks for calling. Steamer's 2,000 gold. I'll take that. Driving to the tree three days. Gods construction. Why don't we gods it? What can I do for you today? I will do the silo. I'll do stone, because that's all I can, that's all I can do. 
Lila costs this much. It's not a lot, luckily. Alright. We should be golden. Time to pass out. Time to pass out. Yeah, I remember there, there was some sites where I can... Where I could read some manga. I remember reading uh, The Legend of Basara. I really like that anime, but that, that didn't continue, so I read the manga. That was so good! And, like, the anime follows the manga so closely until, like, the end where, like, you could tell they were just kind of, like, rushing to to get to, like, an end point for the anime. But, yeah, it's like, it follows the manga to, like, a T. And, yeah, it's just, like, the drama after that is just so good. <laughs> really wish they continued animating that. Today's Friday. Which means I can say hi to Cliff once again. Hook. Curry, curry. The pot. Okay. Curry rice is done. Compared to the last time, no change, also no change. Keep the old recipe. Hey, you wanted a silo, right? I'm here to build it. Where do you want it made? Alright, in the very corner. Over here. I want it here. Let's have all my... My storage... Units just lined up. Probably take around three days for me to finish it. You can rely on me. And... Probably have Thomas give me the... Nope, not the steamer yet. I forgot I ordered it yesterday, not Wednesday. You fool! Silly goose. No, it's Friday, not sa- I'll say hi to Ed. <laughs> Keep doing this. Keep thinking of Friday as... is a cliff day. No, it's an and day. Silly goose. is over, I should probably run around gathering all the white grass for the year. <laughs> Last me the year. Ah, oh, thank you for coming. Make yourself comfortable. Blah, blah, blah. Marlin, trying to get all you boys drunk. Hey, is it for me? My thanks are in order. Hey, what's up? Chicken butt. That's what. It's great, it's my favorite. Okay. Just gonna, just gonna go to sleep. And then I try to think what day I wanted to end off on. I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll even get an invitation for the Starry Night Festival. We don't even have a choice to to get a rejection. Yeah, I, and I don't know if you like even participate in it. Um, if you don't have anybody. So you have to have a you have to have a bachelor at green. Harder, higher. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're even gonna get any invitations. Zero, zero invitations. Hey, Milan, the steamer that you ordered was just delivered. Now you'll be able to make all kinds of food. It's coming handy. You should have it now. Oh boy. It's also finally a sunny day. Of all days, it's finally sunny. But we're an hour, so yeah, we're, we're, we're close to an hour. I think it's time for me to sleep as well, because I'm getting a little bit woozy. We made a lot of progress, though. <laughs> you know me well, I love this. It reminds me of the inn at Mineral Town. 
Girl 10 out of the nice end too. You should go there sometimes. Okay, who do I want to befriend this time? I feel like I did almost everyone at the um, at the villa. I need my cat. Cat, can I do maybe Grant? Kate, no. I mean, I could do Grant. Doctor Hardy. <laughs> Hardy would be a good choice as well. How about Grant? Is he up here? Okay. Yeah, maybe because I, I, I did Kate. I did Kate the other day. Kind of just want to finish up her household. An interesting house. I like. I only have one bed, which is kind of concerning. <laughs> uh, like, even in. <laughs> Even in A Wonderful Life, they have like multiple beds in the room. Who sleeps in the bed? I, I, I don't know, I'm kind of concerned because... Alright, Grant, you like cats, right? Oh, it's so cute. I want one too, but I'm too busy. Oh, maybe your daughter would like a pet. Although, I don't know how well she would be with taking care of animals. Seems like she's a little bit, a little bit on the selfish side. Alright, so... Oh, this is who I'm... This is who I'm befriending at the end of this episode. I'll befriend Grant. Maybe we'll get some cutscenes between him and his daughter. Alrighty. I should be able to save here. We made a lot of progress. We just blasted through winter. Save or file one. Okay, doke. Well, I hope you guys still had a relaxing time. And I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, bye-bye.